Yes. Hello everyone. Here again with you guys talking about another disease. Um, and I'm sure 100% a lot of hunters have, have observed this disease in the field or they have harvested animals with this. Sarcoptic mange. This disease is um, worldwide reported in uh, domestic mammals, in the wild species, and in this one, in the wild ones actually, it really represent uh, a threat conservation due to the effect of this disease on the population dynamics. So this disease can affect uh, different wildlife species. We're gonna talk just about a wild ungulates. Sarcoptic mange represent the most severe disease on the wild caprina in Europe, mm, as evidenced by the epizootic and on the Spanish ibex of the southeast of uh, Spain, and um, as well epizootic episodes on the northern chamois um, and alpine ibex on the eastern Alps of Italy, as well other countries like Austria, Slovenia, Germany. It's been reported as well in the western subspecies of the southern chamois and the barbary sheep. The cause of this disease is a mite. Uh, round one, then it's more or less the length 0.205 millimeters. Uh, ugly one, ugly one, yeah. And uh, another important thing is that it's really contagious by direct contact and it can affect humans. And I can prove that. I mean, I can prove that. I remember that 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 I, I got that uh, during a study on on Hybex that we did when I was at university with my professors, and then we went to Dolomiti in northern Italy. Um, and yeah, it's like when you're a student and if you're young, you're just like uh, you think you are immortal. And then uh, we we had to take some sample from the skin. To, to do uh, some test analysis and then I just uh, took all the things with my hands without putting the gloves and then after four or five days a week I will say I remember that was just like itchy everywhere on my arm so uh, humans can could be affected and uh, yeah the, the areas more or less that could be the arms could be uh, the trunk the um, genitalia uh, sometimes and uh, abdomen um, so it's not not the, the, the good things. It's not a severe one. So I didn't treat it. It was it was mild, but really itchy, especially at night. The life uh, cycle of this parasite from the egg to the adult is 70 days. The adult burrows into the skin, creating tunnels, and this is probably what creates most of uh, the allergies. They are the base of the symptoms and the lesions of this uh, of this pathology. The female lays the eggs under the skin and larvae and nymph stay there until they, uh, the adult age. So the parasite will go through different metamorphosis phases until the adult. You can understand that once uh, there is like this effect, this is the reaction from the body host to the antigens of the parasite, then there is a complex um, chain of, uh, of symptoms, lesions that will open even doors to secondary infections. Parasite can serve as a vector as well to other patho pathogen agents like viruses, um, bacteria, etc. What actually happened? When there's the start of this hypersensitivity reaction is normally translated into um, a pruritic reaction. So the animal feel itchy. And as I remember, you just scratch yourself. So scratching yourself, what is gonna actually happen to, to the body is this destroying uh, the structure of the skin. And this is the first symptoms. So feeling itchy, first symptoms, and then from that, there is a whole curve of um, different lesions and symptoms that can get uh, see more severe. The erythema is probably the at the at the beginning of the the lesions that you can you can observe, and then is followed by alopecia, a self traumatic excoriations. The animal tried to scratch himself on rocks, 
vegetation um because still feeling itchy and and, and the reaction doesn't stop doesn't stop this derma, uh, allergic dermatitis the in general lesion first effect the margin of the um, of the ears uh, ventral, truncal, abdomen, chest, lateral, elbows, face. Localization of the early lesions also depends where the skin uh, was exposed uh, the early stages um, to the infection. Chronic cases could show extensive alopecia, lichenification, and hyperpigmentation. You guys understood that this is uh, a zoonotic disease. It can be it could be passed to humans. This is a good thing to know, especially for hunters. Then when you're handling an animal like that, just remember to, when you touch the cross, you touch the lesion, there is a possibility that you, um, you're gonna um, be affected by, by this pathology. But there's no risk in, in consuming the, the meat. The risk is just by handling the animal. That, that's, the, the, that's the issue. For in culling uh, perspective, uh, of course, the animal that are really, really um, impacted by this type of the pathology, it's it's a good um, it's a good thing uh, that to to cull these animals. Um, plus, I think it's important to report to authorities if some cases have been uh, observed. Progression of this disease is characterized by a, a seasonal distribution with a minimum in autumn, followed by a peak in winter, spring with a minor summer tail. And, and that's it guys, so I hope it was not that boring, but I think it's really important to understand what, what is the disease more or less, what are the lesions, can I can I get from, from touching an animal. Anyway, the most important things uh, guys is that uh, you have a, a more or less a picture of that. And if you've seen in, in, in the field that you can recognize this is so important. If you if you want to read about it, you can just like go on the web, our website and you can find that the sarcoptic mange we just put all the, the important concept of it from the video. And then you just have like a, a, a just really quick reading and then you can keep with you. Um, yeah, so thank you guys. It will be a link in the description if you want to go on our website and uh, we'll be good to go for the next one soon. Bye.